right? Yeah. You okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? No. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the camera volume. I'm back. I'm in. I'm in. Oh. Can you, you hear were me? Muted. Oh. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. It was me, not you. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Good, you. I'm good. I went to watch a game on Monday. Oh, did you? Yeah. You were so good. Intercept, intercept, shot, shot. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I was the same colour as my dress after I finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're everywhere. Yeah, so how have you been finding it? Oh, I love it. I love like being back with crowds, um, being back with the team. Um, yeah, it's been cool after like a tough international season, like being back and like getting getting into a routine and and seeing the girls every day. It's been awesome. How about you? Well, I've not had the tough international season. I've just had downtime. Um, but I think, yeah, definitely after last year, as it was great to have a season last year in the middle of COVID. So definitely, yeah, appreciate having one. But it's not till you get back to playing the home and away games that you actually do realise what 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 you're missing out on there. Because actually, just yeah. doing home and away games, having the fans and everything, it, it that doesn't. I think having a year without them makes you appreciate them so much more. Yeah, and I'll just say I know you don't have a lot of downtime because you're. Oh full-time working all the time and training like a beast so how's your NHS job going busy yeah, yeah. so yeah well, I get downtime outside of work so that's downtime yeah. when, you, when you've when you've done in the past working international and club I mean it is downtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is full on yeah no it works busy but good yeah kind of newest job so I think even after a year still trying to find my feet but um no exciting challenge and there's a lot of good stuff going on there smashing life Right. So, yeah, Leeds, it's your first kind of like season uh, at home. Yes. And um, you're playing in the first select arena, so big match. How, how do you feel about that as a franchise? Oh, really excited. We've had one home game so far in Sheffield. So we're getting across all of Yorkshire. We've got a couple of games in Hull. Um, and this will be our first game that's actually in Leeds. So that's where we train. Um, so really looking forward to see how loud the Northern crowd can get. And like you say, it's like in a big arena. So mm. we need people to come and watch us, buy tickets. And it's um, it's going to be like rugby league versus rugby union club. So it's going oh, to be... Oh, it is, yeah. The rugby like, platform. Like, yeah. So. Oh, no, definitely. They make it really special. Actually, I was having a look back over some stuff and I've managed to find a programme from um, just how, how playing in big arenas is really good. And actually... When yeah, been Super League a long time. Having a new arena, it's like, oh, I've never played at this arena before. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we have at all played at First Direct. No. Like, in our careers. So it's great um, that these cities have these venues and actually never yeah. are getting into them. So it's great. But yeah, I was looking back over when, when um played for Storm doing the London Live. Yeah. Yeah, and we uh, moved it to the Copper Box because it was the London Derby, and those sort of yeah. matches were just were just yeah. oh, like the atmosphere was amazing, and just playing in these sort of games is like I think as a Wasp player actually getting to play. The game against you guys in your in in this arena yeah. is looking special as well. Yeah, and I think it's it's going to be a special game. Like last year, uh, I think we both beat each other once, so yeah. it's, we've already got like a good row. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a close game. That's, that's what we want in the league. It's, yeah, that's what this is. It's been a bit unpredictable this year with 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 some results. Yeah, definitely, and that's what you want. You want it to be yeah. like you never know who's going to win. So yeah, yeah it's yeah. definitely going in the right direction. Yeah. Okay. So, Rach, what yeah. were your memories of your first Super League season? It were quite, well, I wouldn't say they were vivid because it's quite a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, I do, I think I do have a picture of the very first programme. So just bear with me because I think, I think you'll find you're in it as well. So it's like going back. I've, I've lost that. I've lost track of how many years it is. But I'll just see if I can, I should have prepped this a bit earlier rather than having the question. Well, I, think, I think it started in. 2005, 2006. Yeah, was so I've got that. Starting like October. Where is it? Where is it? I've got a copy here of the first programme. No way. From the first season. Um, yeah, which, yeah, I, I, me I remember it being a special season because you'd have played, we because did county before, didn't we? And then the Super Cup. Yeah. But the actual play, being, having the opportunity to, to train week in, week out with the same team. Yeah, and actually have a franchise-based system with people from all over the country. I think it was definitely a yeah a turning point for for sport or yeah. net, netball in this country. I think it was yeah. great to, ha to yeah. have a new league. Yeah, it was amazing. Like going from county and then, like you say, Super Cup was like the transition competition, but it would only last like a few weeks. Yeah, 
Um, so it was kind of like a trial of Super League. Um, and then a few years later, we got the actual Super League with franchises. And just to see it grow has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is actually, I'll cover the bottom bit because this is you as a wasp. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah. Back. Team back. back. Love for light, Lynn. And uh, uh, can you see yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Karen Atkinson, Emma, Olivia, Vicky Percy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's on, he's on, uh, versus, if you got Joe Bins. Yeah. Billy Bowers, Pamela Cookie. A few names in there. you got a few legends in there. Yeah, quite a few people still playing. Yeah, Stacey Francis is in there. Jeeva. Yeah. So some people are still playing. Yeah. And I remember like Loughborough Bath was always like yeah. a big rivalry. So still rivals now, but we got to play in the same team for a few years as well. Yeah. Nice. What do you think the big changes have been since then? Kind of, I think since the start of Super League, the main thing is like the crowds. Yeah. And like we're saying, like the big arenas and it being more professional. I think when it first started, you just, like you just naturally, you'd play wherever you lived and now like because it's becoming a bit more professional you can travel to different teams move to different areas and there's that kind of opportunity I think no definitely yeah it is getting bigger like I think the, the pandemic halted what was a surge at the moment and hopefully we'll get a big revival again and get um yeah get numbers where they were at um but so was it the, the opening season opener in Birmingham after the World Cup? It was a sellout of like yeah, over yeah. nine thousand for for the opening weekend. And um, just trying to get get netball back on track. I think yeah, yeah. It's like the TV coverage as well. Like now having we've got three games every yeah. week, whereas for years I think it was I think it was just one a week, wasn't it on Sky? If that, I think one of them. I can't even remember what that first game was on, and then Sky got involved. Yeah, and actually. Um, yeah, give the opportunity to watch netball. Because I remember, this will definitely show my age here, that when you, um, the internationals weren't even on TV. So unless you went to the arena to watch the game, you never got to see um, yeah. any sort of netball. That's so true. Like when I remember when, when I was growing up, my role models were like in athletics, like yeah. Sally Gunnell and Kelly Holmes. And those were the people like you've seen on telly. Yeah. Um, so now it's like really cool that, netball is now like on tv and little girls playing netball can look to those people doing their sport well cool. actually people can appreciate the game as well because people yeah. until you actually see um the game on tv they're like they don't realize how athletic it can be how quick yeah. it is um and, and what a great game it is and people who see it for the first time are like i never knew how quick it was yeah. <laughs> that's so true it's always the reaction yes because people haven't really ever watched it at a high level yeah. So yeah. I think you definitely netball has progressed, and um, the last um, few years, especially with Commonwealth and then the World Cup being at home, it's definitely kind of like boomed in this country. And it's yeah, but we're yeah. hanging in there, aren't we? Kind of like still trying to take through it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna see it all. <laughs> um, how good has it been to have fans back this season? I think like you didn't realize how much you miss them until you've got them back, and just. Yeah. Just like being able to chat to people after the game, I think that's been the best thing for me. And like, um, like seeing the fans' reaction and how much they enjoyed the game, and like actually being there in person is just really nice and something I've definitely missed. Oh well, yes, yeah, so it's, it's more of an event as well. I do remember last year, as, I, as we did mention before, that we, we were yeah privileged that we actually were able to play. But you get to the end of a quarter or a half when there'd normally be some sort of crowd cheering on the end of a game, and there was nothing, just silence. Yeah. <laughs> Normally at the end of a game, there's like cheers and there's like some sort of thing. It was just like nothing. Yeah. It's, it's, you do a big long shot and you're like, wait for the cheers. and that yeah, is yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or the, um, the reaction to an umpire call or like a yeah. way you play with. Yeah. You, you just didn't, you, yeah, you didn't ever get that. And you, you, yeah, when you get it again, you're like, oh, and, it, and it definitely crowds um, help lift you. Massively. Yeah. 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 It definitely feels like. So much more exciting and like it you want to you want to like be entertainment and yeah. put on a show and it definitely helps it feel like that so it's yeah. bad having everyone back <laughs> very good carrying on from that can you remember a time when you heard support from the crowd and it has given the team a lift and helped change the game there's probably many times isn't there yeah i think one for me is um not super league but in international uh when the last 
World Cup, the home World Cup, when we lost the semi-final to New Zealand, um, I was a bit worried about how we'd come out the next day because when you're like so focused on getting that gold medal, um, and then you, if you lose the semi-final, that, there's no hope of that and you've got to change your mindset very quickly to, right, I really want this bronze medal. But you can't kind of leave your disappointment at the door. And I think like when we came out for that game, the crowd was so like buoyant and like happy to be there and and just willing us to do well and and like the crowd was treating it like our final so we had like no option just to like go along with that and be lifted by that and I thought that was that was a really special moment where like the crowd just felt so part of the team and helped us to get our goal that day and we got that bronze medal which was really yeah that cool. whole world cup was great wasn't it because I don't think I, yeah I'm not sure any of us knew what a home world cup would feel like until you get out and that and you just walk out for the first game and it's just that yeah yeah everyone's behind you it is definitely like an extra player being out on court yeah they absolutely made it like just the atmosphere was all the fans and yeah you can't like thank them enough for like what they did for us that that home world cup was absolutely yeah. yeah i think i've got a super league example yeah i think i was good yeah something i think it was my last um home game I ever played for Storm and the, the sports park always got a great atmosphere down there yeah and I, we had a semi-final against Mavericks and I can't remember how the game ebbed and flowed but I do remember afterwards just being so I don't know taken aback at how the crowd and how the, the emotion that kind of like you felt with the crowd during that game and yes. they, they got us over the line it was a it was a I remember being really close I can't remember how the game swung but I do remember like someone get some defense getting a intercepts that kind of like just got us over the line and just the the crowd response to that is something that I don't think I'll ever forget oh, that's amazing I love yeah. that even like the crowd feels quite close so yeah. it's like they are oh, just like right there and you feel everything they feel um what are some of your best memories from your career yeah. um yeah big question I think a lot of mine are just like aside from the netball like you're going through all the highs and lows with your teammates and like how like how many coffees have we been been for like after after trainings or after a game and um just appreciating like that time together I think that's something we always did at Wasp was make sure we appreciate that time together and like having fun and um yeah I think like the older you get like you just have to have fun or you yeah. you, you're not gonna stay in the game so oh, there's no point playing really is there? yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a game it's a great game so you yeah. have to have fun to enjoy kind of like yeah going out there and, and it's great because it's a, a team game as well and one of the probably one of the most ultimate team games because of how yeah. how it's structured the rules you have to all do it together yeah um yeah. so I think yeah there's well there's a lot of memories isn't there <laughs> too many too many too, too many <laughs> too many but yeah I think you're right in terms of this the, the team camaraderie and all that sort of thing is um Kind of like, yeah, you have the on-court stuff, but you spend a lot of time training and doing the, all the things behind the scenes that no one ever sees. Yeah, yeah. So you have to enjoy not just the playing side of it as well, as fun as that is, but the actual training and pushing each other and just trying to kind of like get the best out of your teammates as well as yourself. And I think just that whole yeah. side of things is 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 great part of sport. Um, do you still get the same excitement playing in Super League as you did when your career started? I think so, yeah. Because every year is different, isn't it, really? Like, you, you get... I've been for a whole array of things, different sorts of teams. You've, you've gone in as... I've gone in as defending champion before, gone in as underdogs and all sorts of situations. And I think each season is so different with different, yeah. with different players coming in to bring freshness to a squad and different challenges. I think all of that makes it the same sort of excitement when you when you step out and, and get to play. And especially, I think, again, having that COVID year and then having a year back in front of crowds again, I think that kind of, like, lifts it again. Especially yes. what a lot of us have been through. Everyone's been through a tough couple of years, haven't they? So I think now we're back to more more normal, especially with Super League terms. It, yeah, it kind of, like, helps and brings that excitement back in. Have you found the yeah. same thing? Yeah, that's so true. Like, being like having those few months away where we're in lockdown, it just definitely makes you appreciate like what you've got and being able to play. I remember like our first session back, we were doing like court sprints and we're just so happy yeah. to be doing court sprints again. <laughs> like never thought I'd be thinking that. As um, much fun as team yoga over Zoom is, it's much bigger. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of like you say, all the seasons are different. And I remember like my first Super Cup season, um, 
I was just like, I think I was like 17 and all the England players got like allocated yeah. to different teams and we were like allocated Amanda Newton and I got to play goal defence and she was behind me at goalkeeper. So that kind of excitement, I was like, oh my God, it's Amanda Newton. I was just like playing my hardest in front of her like to make sure I was doing like everything she needed me to do and just having that kind of character around um, to like now, like being really excited when I see like the youngsters and yeah. like skills they've got and um so yeah it's just like every year is different like you say and just appreciating like the people that you've got around you even though we get older and older so yeah it's pretty cool so you're now that person that they come on court with <laughs> and go, right I have to <laughs> I <don't think> so. <laughs> yeah. throw the ball where jade wants it <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. who is the player in your team to watch out for this weekend oh see, this is yeah i'm gonna think about this it's quite tough so you've got a few um a new ones playing for wasps this year and um i'm gonna go with leah goss she's a she's a young yeah. player who was in our squad last year who's came on and made um some great impact in some games um yeah young player with uh, with flair and structure and um no definitely been impressive how how i've seen her grow and develop over the last couple of years and again as an older player, it's it's great to see um, when your teammates, you see them kind of like go, you see what they're doing in the background and, and you get to see them have the opportunity to go out on court and and just do their thing. And yeah, it's, um, I would say, yeah, I'm going to go for Leo on that one. Yeah. And I'm going to say your opponent, Twainy Keenan, oh. uh, she's been getting like the most intercepts in like games for us this year. And she's in the leadership this year and she's like, Really stepped up, really flying, looking fit. So, again, yeah, it's going to be a real battle between the two of you, and I can't wait to see it. Good. Exciting. Um, it's a good battle. Yeah. yeah. Right, quick fire. Oh. Right, so we're going to try and answer as quick as we can. Oh, you say that, but it's quite tough. It is quite, I had a look. I, I, had a, I had a bit of a look. I'm still not sure of my my um, um, my um answers to this. I'm not sure how quick fire it's going to be. <laughs> Slow fire. <laughs> right. Oh. Most memorable game played in. Told you, not quick fire. <laughs> um, what, is this a Super League game, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do Super League. Oh god! Oh, you go first. I need thinking time. I told you, not quick fire. Yeah. With, that, with that many leagues under belt, it's in. Hmm? Probably the two finals have been in. One with Loughborough in two thousand nine, where we lost, and then. Um, 10 years later, got in the final game with Wasps and we won. So they were the two most memorable. Oh, oh. I'm lucky to have got quite a few finals, but I can't, I, yeah, trying to, trying to, yeah, actually one, <clears throat> one of the finals, but I can't, it might be one of the storm ones actually, because Bath was lucky enough to join at the start that, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> can't be quick fire. <laughs> um, yeah, Bath, first season, we were lucky enough to win it. And, and the same with Wasps as well, when I've joined them. But yeah. Storm joined the franchise and it was... Uh, we had a few really close finals that we lost. And oh. then finally, we... What year was it? 2015, I think. Um, yeah, we finally won. And that was a, a great feeling after so many close calls with that franchise and that group of players. I think getting over the line and actually winning... Especially being yeah. around players who had lost quite a few finals, that was a definitely a special game where you could win it with players who had had, yeah, had quite a few disappointments, and that was definitely a special game. That's amazing. Um, toughest opponent? Ooh, there's been loads of tough opponents. Again, when you play for so long, I'm going to go with someone who I keep seeing flashing up and is also playing exceptionally well at the moment. I'm going to go with Leila Gaskus. She's a player that, um, yeah, she's on fire at the moment, and over the years, she's a I got so much respect for her because she's not the sort of defender that tries to to beat you up to get the ball. She's she plays cleanly, she plays very smartly, and it's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a good way. Uh, mine's Sarah Bayman. Um mm. we had like amazing battles when it was Love V Bath. Um and we're like best friends, but everyone always used to think we hated each other when they watched us play because we just really go at each other. So that was good. What goes right. on court stays on court. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Most competitive teammate. Well, this another tough one. You're pretty up there on this one. Yes. Yeah, because you you never, yeah, in, in a good way competitive. I'd say because you can have some sometimes negative competitive, but 
you're a player that kind of like when you played with, you'd always know that like you would keep going to the death of a game and you'd be the one that would like most likely when it's goal for goal to come up with that and intercept. And I think that's definitely competitive, wanting to win and wanting to get over the line. So I'm going to, I'm going to say Jade, it's you on this one. Oh, well, I'm going to say you because oh. you always want to, you want them always demanding the ball, want to take those big shots and like the big moments you're like, give me the ball. And, um, I've got to give a special mention to Tamsin Greenway as well. Oh, yeah. She was uh, definitely out there. Even in a, even in a warm-up game. She's oh, like, she was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, she's funny. She both, yeah, mention from both of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most embarrassing moment on the court. Oh. I think I've got one. It was another one of these... Um, Netball London live games yeah. and I think our very first shot of the game that I had it took about six attempts to get in <laughs> I don't well, you and you got the rebound I did I did did I actually get it I can't remember but I think it was a definitely a um a headache for the yeah it was one of the moments where I don't know what happened um <laughs> uh, but yeah I just kept missing and missing and missing and yeah and actually, you can get a rebound each time. It's like, just go in. <laughs> As a shooter, that's not necessarily what you want to do. And that's the way to kill a shooting stat from the very <laughs> It goes in, but straight away, that's it, yeah. Well, the main thing is, you just kept going. So you I got think, it. I hope it went in the end. I don't, I don't even know the result of that. I just remember that was, yeah, that was quite embarrassing as a shooter to keep doing that. Especially, yeah. It wasn't every time the ball came down. It was just in a row. Yeah. Um, That was... Um, mine is probably from last year. Oh, I just remember a clip like I turned around, I had to send a pass, <gasps> turned around. I think like the defenders were like in good positions, and I just passed it like in between both my wing defense and goal defense. I remember like Caroline Bark was commentating, and she just said she's just thrown it to the ghost of Christmas. <laughs> like, yeah, well, it must have been a ghost that I just passed to, but just passed to no one. I don't know why it happened, hope it never happens again. You must but, have thought there was a teammate there. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's where you should be. <laughs> yeah. Light had caught your eye at some point, and you're like, oh, all you could see was yeah. like a blur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best piece of advice you've been given? Oh, I, I had read, read these ones. Um, best piece of advice? Oh, it's been a lot of advice. I remember Lynn Gunson once telling me, yeah. like, a top legend of Bath, she's like, yeah. don't try and be an apple if you're an orange. Like, just play to your strengths basically that's right yeah that's great advice because then you feel comfortable doing it as well don't you yeah you can play your natural game and um oh that's how yeah that's a good one that one is um i think probably if you the harder you train the easier the playing is yes i'd say in some ways um yeah definitely because yeah put it in behind the scenes it does make um, playing a lot easier. If you don't put it in behind the scenes, then you're not going to get to experience yeah. the... Um... Training needs to feel awful. It, Yeah, it does. And definitely after last weekend at Go Attack, I kind of... You, you appreciate shuttles going... Not <laughs> <to be> like, <laughs> shuttles. <laughs> Although it didn't feel good, but yeah. <laughs> Best player to ever play Super League? See, this is the sort of thing that needs a debate, I think, with a multi-panel yeah. group of people, because I was thinking, because... Um, it probably be a group of players, won't there? And how would you... Ha, ha, I don't know. It's too hard to answer. Like, my my first, like, hero was Olivia Murphy. Yeah. Peter had, had her play in Super League and, like, play alongside her and play against her. And she was just so skillful on something, like, we all aim to have her skill level. Because she was, like... To give her the ball, she'd always, like, nail the pass. And as good on attack as she was on defence. Yeah. I think there's quite a lot of players. It's right, I don't want to forget anyone because there's loads of players that have played in this league over the years, isn't there? Yeah. I've had loads of players who have like gone on to Australia, New Zealand, do really well there. And come back as well. Yeah. Loads of players like Emma Dovey, who yeah. have just like been so consistent for so many years. Yes. Um, yeah. And like players like you, Pam and Tamsin, Sarah, have just like and yourself won the most. Oh yeah, one of you. Yeah. And you've been around longevity as well, and just yeah. how how do you define best? Because you've got yeah. lots of characteristics that make great players. Is it yeah? Is it longevity? Yeah. Is it most amount of titles? Is it the biggest impact on the league or on a team? 
Yeah, this needs its own its own YouTube show. This this does. I think you could get a camera <laughs> together. <laughs> That'd be an interesting podcast, wouldn't it? Right, if anyone steals this idea, we came up with it here first. <laughs> Definitely. Um, as to a debate of of oh, you could have lots of categories of this where a panel debates things like this. I had a similar one about rugby union about the best Six Nations captains, and they did debate it. Oh, yeah, and coming up with, with a thing, but that was a group of a group of pundits debated the thing and came up with a list. So this is a very hard question that you know I don't think is a I can give a definite answer to right now. Yeah, very diplomatic. Well, right. it's a big <laughs> <laughs> right virtual high five. Woohoo! On the court will be rivals, off the court not. Yeah, <laughs> sixty minutes of a uh, battle. <laughs> Yes, and, yeah. and, and then a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to see your face, Rach. Yeah. Are we starting? Is this unofficial now? Are we off? Cut. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had to do it. Yeah. <laughs>